let's apply that jelly bean concept to stuff that we're going to be using in chemistry class. And let's say that uh, you're working in a lab and you need three moles of copper for a certain chemical reaction. Well, since we can't count out specific numbers of copper atoms, let alone three times Avogadro's number worth of, Ava or of copper atoms, uh, it'd be much easier for us to weigh it out. And we know the molar mass of copper, so molar mass of copper, from the periodic table. So since copper is an element, we can look on the periodic table and get its mass. And so we see that that's about 63.55 grams per mole. All right, meaning that if I weigh out 63.55 grams of copper, that means that I've got one mole of copper atoms there exactly. So we can kind of inherently, um, or indirectly, excuse me, count atoms by just weighing them out. Okay, just like the jelly bean problem. I can write this as a conversion factor like this, where I've got 63.55 grams of copper for every one mole of copper. And that if I have one mole of copper, that means that it should weigh 63.55 grams of copper. So if I need three moles of copper, I can weigh it out. And to figure out how much I need to weigh out, I can use one of these conversion factors from my molar mass. Okay, I would want to make sure that my moles of copper cancel and I'm left with grams of copper as my unit. So the conversion factor that has moles in the denominator and mass in the numerator uh, would be my choice. So 63.55 grams of copper for every mole of copper. Go ahead and put those up there. That means that if one mole weighs that much, if I have three moles, it should be three times the mass. Okay, so again, it makes sense to multiply. My moles of copper cancel. My units at the end will be grams of copper, which is what you're looking for. You can just plug it in your calculator now. So you've got three times 63.55. So 190.65 grams of copper. So if I were to put that on a balance and weigh that out, that means that I should have exactly three moles of copper.